you are probably thinking huh i am a graphic designer why should i use canva to design my portfolio how do i even go about it well stay with me the main advantage of using canva is the ease of use and flexibility another thing is accessibility your portfolio is literally in your pocket canva is web-based you don't need your laptop anytime you want to change something in your portfolio before you submit a proposal or whatnot the best part is it is free well, if you have a Canva Pro, you have access to more features and more Pro template. But for the sake of this video, and because I am not subscribed to Canva Pro, we'll be creating my portfolio using a free account. Before we get started, there are a few things I want us to bear in mind. The first thing first, this is a niche portfolio. So this is a graphic design portfolio. And why am I creating a specific niche portfolio? Is because I tend to get a lot of requests for graphic design, social media design, print designs kind of work. So sending my portfolio the portfolio that contains all my work styles both illustrations everything can be overwhelming so if someone asks me for graphic design portfolio i send it to them if you ask me for illustration you need my illustration service i send you my illustration portfolio if you ask me my branding portfolio i send you my branding portfolio so that's why i am creating this niche portfolio second one this is not a tutorial on how to create a portfolio website while the steps here can you can use the same steps to like publish your canva portfolio website this one is just strictly for a way to export it as PDF. That's PDF that you can attach to your resume when you are sending out job applications. The third thing I want you to bear in mind, it, it is very okay to work with templates. Very, very okay to work with templates. It can be overwhelming to start with a blank canvas, but if you have something to start from, you can start from it and you know, customize your way through it. For why you can customize your template as you go copy one, element from one template to another bear it in mind that canva can be limiting especially even on a free account so don't think you are coming into another adobe suite most important thing i want you to note is that while the software is different the design principle still applies and still stays so take note of that lastly if you have a certain design style in mind or element you want to use for your portfolio, consider prepping them beforehand before bringing it to Canva. Like I said, Canva is limiting. It's limiting, especially when you have a free account. For example, if you want to have images of yourself or something without a background PNG, you might want to remove the background beforehand, probably in Photoshop or any um, web-based tool before you bring it into Canva. Of different tutorials, please, please subscribe and share this video. Let's get to like 500 subscribers before the end of march please thank you if you want to log right into your account go to templates under template search for portfolio and you can see that there's a lot creative portfolio portfolio website we're not creating website don't click on websites just click on any of it except from student portfolio then you can see there's a lot and lots of portfolio i had this one start but this is a pro um template so i'm just going through this template for like um will i say inspiration and whatnot just feeding my eyes this is another cool thing about um canva so i found this template is free to use is that about it has about 13 slides and i think i want to customize this i want to like i like the vibes so this is the template i'm going to work with so i'm customizing it now first thing first this picture has to go i know i'm fine but my face being on the front page is not something i want to put out there so this is me just um customizing the front page just basic as portfolio write my name under it but i'm going to change it towards the end but you see the final um stuff so yeah but if you want to put picture on your own there's no problem or you can put pictures but i'm not just a fan of putting my face on the front page this introduction page too i'm going to let it go i'm trying to like edit this background but notice that this background is actually a picture usually sometimes you could edit it it's like a rectangle you could edit the um gradient but this creator actually used she uploaded a picture of the background so i can't edit it so i'm just leaving it as it is and now i'm trying to uh, about me write a little about me change the font i'm going to also insert my picture and uh, yeah regardless of your chosen tone of voice for your overall portfolio just make sure it is concise and short consolidate those information how many years of experience do you have what tools are you proficient in what can you offer um throw in a little about you like fun fact about just make it short and sweet as possible then your picture your picture make sure it is like professional this is just a more like it a selfie and it's not that bad <laughs> i have a professional picture but i don't want to use it you can also edit it 
as i'm currently doing it you know double click then there's this edit button at the top there which i'm just trying to enhance my face but if your picture is already like studio edited you probably just have to like skip this step and just yeah just put your picture there and if you and like i said just deal with the overall vibe you're going for for this skill and experience expertise i don't think i'll be needing it so i'm just like going to move it around and just you know bring what i need to the front i don't think i want to put skills and expertise because i've already highlighted it in my bio so now for my project the project i want to highlight i had stated earlier in my bio that okay this is a graphic design um portfolio so i just want to highlight three graphic design uh, social media basically digital media kind of design so i've edited them for the cover page i'm going to change the pictures this this picture i downloaded it from um what's it called free peak yes free peak it's like a glass morphism i just felt like it goes with the vibe i just was just looking for something to just represent <laughs> um the cover image of my um project so this is glass morphism and i try to make it like according to the theme of the brand so one to one diet is like a health and wellness diet so i got the icon that's similar to that akoma is like mental health i got it a, a icon that's similar to that fx is a fintech so i got icon that's similar to that just to you know make um everything just look the same thing like uniform consistency you can use to you can decide to use like a snippet of your project on the cover page so anyhow you do that so now the next slide is the project i want to edit this old i don't like this whole thing going on here so i am going to delete everything like all these are slides it's going to be gone yes and i'm going to bring my text make everything to be left um left sided because it looks good to me i delete most of all this for your project you want to like you know say i'm not going to write too much just a little bit about the brand like what you did for them what's the brand about your design decision like just three sentence or four sentence max you also want to like highlight the industry because this is a graphic design portfolio is i'm highlighting the industry if it was a general portfolio where all my works are in i would just what i typically do is like okay for this project what i worked on with this brand is rebranding and packaging so i'll just be like okay rebranding if it's just um social media i'll just put social media designs but since it's just graphic design um just social media designs i'm highlighting so i just put their niche there that okay one to one diet is a diet and lifestyle brand so that's it so now i'm just looking for uh what's it called frame that i can use that has this um like a mock-up sort of thing but it is on that frame that has this instagram vibe so i saw it and it's free this one too is free i had already uploaded my the images i want to highlight so i'm just like bringing them into that frame it's just drag and drop you just drag it and drop it into the frame into the frame that you've put there so this frame is going to like serve as um how will i put it a mock-up of social media like instagram so this is you can see i've moved things around i'm still going to move things around for example that diet and lifestyle is going to come under one-to-one -one, under the name of the brand so this frame does not have like the profile photo and profile name effect i'll be adding that one manual using like the shape to like the circle and adding the text and i'll just go on and just duplicate them and you know for each brand so that's just it then for all these slides i don't need i either delete them or just hide the page i don't need all the slide and let me just jump right into the final um page so this final page is like i am your own can be contact me or what not or let's work together whatsoever your copy is so that's just it then you add your contact details and you know where they can find you so now you're going to see like the final um, prof um portfolio these are just the duplicated slide let me move back to the um the first slide so this is the portfolio my graphic design 2025 looking nice and you know everything okay 
then the second page about me you so showed the way i tried i highlighted the like will i say key things my name specialization the tools everything just sweet and short the next thing is the projects i have one to one diet akuma Earth, and fx i want to highlight those are the three projects that you will see in this portfolio so that's it so the first one is the one to one diet i put one to one diet diet lifestyle is the niche i read a little bit about the brand then these are like some images you can see the circle i talked about then this one just second page i didn't really my copy is not right here i just copy and pasted it but that's just it just to duplicate the stuff same thing for this same brand too you see everything is like consistent like the same thing so this is also for fx brand this one i don't have a second page for this and that's just it for i me like simple and short i hope you guys learned one or two and i hope you can see canva is not a tool that uh, i don't know you don't have to feel biased towards canvas like you do it doesn't make you less of a designer if you use canva i mean canva there are so many companies that use canva it is easy to use it is i mean it's serving the audience so why are you waiting create your portfolio and you know <sighs> yeah <laughs>